Hi guys, so this is gonna be another <gasps> shock horror haul video again and I do apologize to those of you who do not enjoy haul videos or like watching haul videos but personally I find them like really enjoyable to watch and I love them because they're such a good indicator of what like personally what people like I guess or what you know, or if I think like, oh, I, I like this person's taste and I, I would like their taste in the makeup that they buy as well. So I'm personally interested in seeing what they actually got, um, if that makes any sense. But yeah, so this haul is going to be of the Mac in the Groove um, collection. And yeah, I know it's been a while since it's out in the US but yeah we just got it in Australia they just launched this Monday and it is fabulous um, I actually hold a whole lot in fact um, because the collection is so big anyway as well so the one thing that I was super excited to get and I knew I must have it um, was the Mac by candlelight at Mac MSF um, by candlelight and there it is I won't uh, open it because it's actually really powdery and a lot of flakes are around it so I'm sure you guys have seen a lot of this anyway but it is so gorgeous um, it's actually supposed to be a highlighter but I actually use it as a blush even because I'm not wearing any blush today and you can see there's a very subtle like glow on my cheeks and this is so beautiful because it just gives you a really nice and natural glow and it looks like it's from within and I have soft and gentle and it is really really different um, soft and gentle I'll try to get the piece back soft and gentle is really much more shinier and I can really actually see the sheen but with this it's a very very subtle glow and yeah soft and gentle is Basically, I can just use it as a highlighter only, but by candlelight, actually, it actually even works as a blush. Um, as Temptalia.com, or Christine on Temptalia uh, mentioned before, she said really pale people can use it as a blush. So, yeah, that's it's really nice. So that's a soft and gentle, and as you can see, it's much more um, glitter in it. Um, as opposed to the bi kind of oh actually they look really similar but trust me the difference is very very obvious when you wear it on your face and I suggest for really fair skin types this is the perfect perfect glow yeah I love it um, and I also got two lipsticks and one of them was this one which was I like it like that I was it I was actually initially gonna get the pinker one um, which was I think not styles that are um yeah I can't really remember but anyway I was gonna get the pinker one because I really like Lady Gaga's um, Viva Glam and apparently that was supposed to be really like close to it and yeah that's weird that I want to get the same thing but what can I say if something works for me I really want to stick to it I guess so I was really interested to get that one but when I went to the matte counter and swiped it on my finger which is where you're supposed to swipe lipsticks to check because their lips are actually the same um, color and texture as your fingertips so if you test lipsticks guys don't test it on your hand test it on your fingertips to see what it looks like on your lips um, yeah, anyway um, I really like this one much more than I like the other pinker one I guess and um, yeah it's it's kind of weird I, I thought the other one was much too pink and too glaringly pink if that makes sense and this one I'm surprised but I really like this one as well it's um, not as nice as Viva Glam Gaga because the Gaga one's really nice bubblegum pink and this one's more of a darker lilac tone but it's really beautiful 
swatch it there so you can see it's a really pale pink like purpley pink and yeah it's really good and I wasn't gonna get this because everyone got it and I just thought it can't be that good and I'm really a bit on the fence about coral but when I tried it on my lips I loved it I love the coral um, and I'll swatch it on my middle finger so that's it there and that's um I like it like that and this is jazz jazz which everyone and their mother got on YouTube but yeah jazz is fantastic it's a really nice coral I actually wore it yesterday to a dinner and yeah it's I was actually yeah like really dubious about coral on my lips because I also thought that I always thought that it would make my um, teeth more yellow but it's a really nice coral I don't know it's just weird and the Mac lady said or like sh the makeup artist actually said oh we don't have many of these left and I was just like oh I have to get it now so yeah and I also got I actually really wanted the cream sheen glass but I couldn't decide which one to, to get so I just left them for now and I also got a MAC um, MSF eyeshadow whatever not MSF eyeshadow geez, uh, mineral eyeshadow in fresh and easy I was initially gonna get the other one with the light blue and the two browns or like the light blue the champagne color and the brown which Laura Lollipop 26 got but I went to the MAC shop and I actually swatched these on my hand and I swatched the other one which I can't remember the name of right now but I actually like this one much better and I thought the consistency of this one was actually really much better than the other one or maybe I just got a really duped out one of the other eyeshadow but yeah I really like this color combination I wore this yesterday as well and um, just the blue as a highlight or even like under the eyes under the eye eye line um, and that is the all over lid color the pink and the cranberry sort of color in the crease and it looks really good like together it looks fabulous and I love the pigmentation I actually use the pink one wet because the pink is a bit harder to notice so I use the pink one wet that one dry and the blue one just really really subtly on the highlight um, corner of the eye sorry I'm just really not very eloquent at this time of the day because yeah I just got home from work and it's sort of late-ish for me <laughs> so I'm so sorry you guys that you might not be able to understand or you're thinking like what is she talking about um yeah so i really really like that one really excited to have that and so i got yeah two lipsticks and a msf i wasn't really interested in the blushes they just looked not as enticing to me in the pictures and stuff and when i actually went to the shop i was like mm, nah I, I really like really nice pale pink blushes because i'm pretty fair so too much of color actually makes me look really arti artificial geez. Um, yeah it just makes me look really weird and I don't really like having so much color on my cheeks um, and yeah so my sister went today to MAC as well and she picked up the petticoat she picked up two things I think yep two things the petticoat MSF which is upside down for you guys to see and there it is it's really pretty as well I saw the pictures like the marketing pictures of these and I loved it but I wasn't gonna get it because as I said it's really too shiny for me um, and oh my gosh that looks really gorgeous in this light as well and it is really gorgeous but it's just a bit too I feel it's a bit too pigmented for me not saying that I won't use it but 
Oh, and there it is in all its glory on my hand. It looks really bronzy here, but um, yeah, I think I got too much of the bronze veining anyway. Uh, yeah, for my sister, she has dry skin and I have oily skin, so it's yeah, um, I guess it really works well for her because she has such um, poreless, dry, matte skin and it, it looks good on her because it's a nice like glowy sheen for her but for me I've always looked a bit um, shinier so to speak so I don't care so much for being shiny again and very quickly the last thing that she got was the going casual lip cream sheen glass and there it is and I'm running out of time so I'll see you guys in the next one